Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to create a dynamic column colors for positive or negative numbers. If you're looking for a way to easily add some pizzazz to your Excel spreadsheets, you're in luck. With a few clicks of the mouse, you can add dynamic column colors to change based on the positive or negative value of the number. This is a great way to add some visual interest to your data and make it easier to scan and interpret at a glance. It makes your data easier for your audience to quickly understand where they should focus on the chart and make decisions quickly and decisively. Let's check it out. So I have my chart here and I have a random number generator for some of the columns to simulate how it would go from up and down red and, and, and green. So if I press the F9 key a couple of times, it will recalculate and you can see that it's dynamic. So how do we get this to do that? Let's build this from scratch. I'm just gonna copy these items. Control C to copy, new sheet here. Now go under home, go to paste. I'll just paste special. And actually while I'm at it, I might as well just copy the headings here. Control C to copy, and then paste special here, just the values. So I can show you how I did my random, random number generator. Select this column, double click the auto fit. Let's do the random number generator, ran between. We'll do from 100 to 300 here. And let's do, let's drag that down there. And let's see what I did here. Maybe I can, I think it was less, one to 200, 100, 200, ah, I guess so. Let's do the same thing here then. We'll just Control C to copy and then Control V to paste and double click the fill handle to bring that down. Another thing to consider is turning this range of data into a table using the table feature because then I wouldn't need to always double click the fill handle to bring the formula down. So what I'm gonna do is Control T and create this table. I have my window I'll come up here. Yes, I wanna create this table. It does have headers, click okay. And you can see it's turned into a table because when I click outside, that contextual menu is not there. Clicking inside gives me that table design. So you see the difference here is now when I try to do a formula, so the difference here is gonna be um, equals uh, this value divided by this value and it'll give me my percentage difference minus one, control enter, and you can see it automatically copies that formula down. So that's a nice thing of having the table feature. Now, I'm also gonna turn this into a percentage, go to home, click on that percentage sign, or the keyboard shortcut, control shift, the number five turns it into percentage. Now to get my difference columns here, all I need to do is select that, control, press the control key, select that, go to insert, select my column, I'm on my 2D column here, and it's giving me this column where everything above zero is up and everything below zero is down. So I'm gonna get rid of these grid lines, select the grid lines here, press delete. And having that access is kind of annoying, but let's take care of that later. We wanna do the colors, right? So I select that, control one to bring up my format data series navigation and click on my paint bucket here. Under where it says color, make that green. I'm gonna select this green. So everything's green. Well, what about my negative numbers? You see where it says invert if negative, click on that. And it turns white. Well, you have a choice now, this showed up. Now we can select red. And now that's red. If I click outside, press the F9 key a couple of times, you can see it's changed. Now the rest of it is just formatting it to make it look nicer. We're gonna change that axis, we don't want that at the bottom because it looks kind of bad. You could either be the top or the bottom. What you need to do is select on it. We have our format axis navigation here and where it says labels here, we can either have it at high, which it puts it on top or at low, which puts it at the bottom or none if you don't want that there. I kind of like low right now, so that looks good. Now, the other thing to consider is also the labels and we want to make our things look a little bit better. So maybe select that and delete that and add a label instead. So select it where everything's selected, right click, add data label, and now we've got our labels here. And the last thing we can do is probably do a chart title to change that. And here we can say percent difference 2020 versus 2019. And click outside, and now we have our dynamic color chart. So anything below zero percentage is red, and anything above zero percentage is green. Press my F9 key a couple of times. You can see there's a little bit lag on the label and display, but it does show up. And so this is kind of a nice chart to have. So you can see it's pretty easy to create this chart and the impact is good. Something that you can copy and then paste into a PowerPoint presentation.
Well, that's not all there is to it. But with a few clicks of the mouse, you can add some dynamic color to your column charts in your spreadsheets. Whether you present this in a spreadsheet itself or put it in a presentation, it will be more effective when you're using your colors to point out the important parts of your data. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Hmm. What do you call a chicken crossing the road? Poetry in motion.